Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for uh, for coming to this uh, this important announcement for the community of Newborough and the uh, Township of Rideau Lakes. Uh, I, I want to start by uh, welcoming uh, most of the members of uh, my council are here. We have, and if you're here, just wave so the, the folks that might not know you will know who you are. We have uh, Councillor Banks. We have Councillor Delaney. We have Councillor Brzee, I believe. Or was it just Dell that I saw? Just Dell, okay. Uh, Councillor Maxwell, Councillor Livingston, and then the two councillors from this ward are Councillor Pollard and Councillor Lavoie. So uh, thank you, uh, members of council, for coming. I think this is a very important announcement for the both for the hamlet of Newborough and for the entire region. One of the things that uh, one of our strategic planned uh, objectives, of course, is to build on the capacity of our hamlets. And this is one of the ways that we do this. We, we recognize that if we build the infrastructure in our hamlets, then uh, our hamlets can, uh, can grow, they can uh, thrive, and more people will want to be in this area and live in this area. Now libraries. So welcome to the area. Now, the residents of Real Lakes will benefit from the planned improvements for years to come. Targeted investments such as this, along with others we are making throughout our community, support healthy, active, and engaged citizens. It's pretty important that uh, that these kinds of facilities are provided. I would like to start by thanking the Trillium Foundation, MPP Clark, for their continued support and championing of Ontario's rural communities. Now, for those that aren't aware, some of the work that's to take place includes upgrading of the washrooms, removal of the existing canteen build, building and replacing that with a pavilion, reseeding the soccer pitch, baseball diamond improvements, installing fence around the court and on John Street in front of the playground, Upgrading and resurfacing the asphalt court for pickleball. And <laughs> and <laughs> new That's bleachers and picnic tables, <laughs> replace the soccer nets, and upgrading existing and adding more signage. The total amount of grant is 142500 But I also want to mention that the local pickleballers have been quite instrumental in this project, both bringing it to council, making sure that's a priority, and I believe they've raised $4,000 for the project as well. So congratulations to all of you folks for your meeting. So without further ado, I will turn the uh, microphone over to uh, our MPP, Steve Clark. Good afternoon, everyone. It's, uh, it's an honor for me to be here uh, as uh, your local MPP, and one of the things that I think is uh, most enjoyable uh, by uh, the local members of the provincial parliament is that we get to work with uh, great volunteers like uh, like Ray King at the Ontario Children Foundation. When we received the last uh, list uh, of the uh, grants, uh, I can't tell you how happy I was to see uh, the Township of Rito Lakes uh, listed as a grant recipient for this park here in the at $142,000. Nine hundred dollars. It was such a such a joy to see all the hard work that uh, the municipality has done to put a plan in place uh, for this uh, this area within Newbury. And I, I actually was glad that uh, Ari talked about all the improvements because one of the things that uh, that has sure been evident in this riding is the fast the, the fact that uh, pickleball has been one of the fastest growing, if the not fastest growing sport. Uh, in pretty well every community. I can't, I can't think of a community that hasn't told me in the last 12 or 18 months that they need better pickleball facilities. So I'm, I'm glad that that's one component uh, of this, uh, of this wonderful, wonderful grant application. So congratulations. I, I do want to give credit where credit's due. Ray King is one of the outstanding Trillium uh, volunteers. Uh, Trillium, as uh, I'm sure you'll hear from Ray, is uh, one of the leading 
granting agencies uh, in our province. Uh, I can't say enough uh, for Trillium's ongoing commitment, and I want to thank Ray and all the volunteers for seeing the importance of rural recreation and enhancing recreation facilities like this park, uh, not just in Rio Lakes, uh, but in this uh, in this hamlet of Newport. So I want to thank Ray, and I want to ask you to give Ray a big round of applause for all the work that he and volunteers like him do right across this province. Ray came to the Ontario Council. Well, thank you again. Um, very nice introduction, Steve, it's, as always. Uh, very much appreciated. Um, I'll keep my remarks um, short. Um, Steve and Ari have uh, mentioned the specifics of the project. Uh, I'm, as Steve said, a volunteer on the grant review team. We accept applications uh, across the province um, each year, and we rank them. and. Um, grant accordingly. It's um, great that we're able to invest over $100 million per year to various social programs. One of those areas that we invest in is called the uh, Active People um, Group. And it is to promote physical activity throughout the province. Well, when we received your application, it was very evident to us uh, that in a rural community, the infrastructure is so important. Uh, for participants to identify with. So we were very pleased to present, um, to provide a grant of uh, just under $143,000. The upgrades have been mentioned, um, and they will uh, begin fairly soon. Uh, we recognize that facilities and equipment play a very important role to get people to, to identify and to keep them active. And as such, we we're very happy to, to do this travel for all your work and your, your planning. Um, and I do speak on behalf of everybody at the Ontario Trillium Foundation when I say that we are pleased that this, this particular project fits our own strategic priorities very, very nicely. I'd like to also take a moment to give a special thank you to, to Steve and uh, the Ontario government on behalf of Trillium because that's where our funding comes from and we recognize that we are able to make uh, healthier and more vibrant communities through projects that may not otherwise get funded. So we're very happy to... Like libraries! To, we're very and happy to... And from the taxpayers, right? There's not a taxpayer dollar in this. Prove it. Yeah. In any event, um, I would like to uh, thank you for the opportunity of being here in the first place. And I'd uh, like to invite uh, MPP Clark, Mr. Clark, to uh, assist in the presentation of a commemorative plaque to uh, Mayor Hoogenbrun, and thank you for all your time. Thank you.
Running library. Running library. How you're running down our driveway. No, no, I, I'm, I'm seriously asking, sir. And we are grateful. Yeah, that's how Doug Ford does it, too. He doesn't answer a question. You're a disgrace to the rural community. 